loneliness. That is what filled the gray in the world. Nobody had ideas. None of the squirrels played. The birds barely chirped. All that was heard was the gentle swimming of a fish in the bushes rattling in the wind. The turtles snored and the rabbits were eating. The deer looked upon all the small animals and came up with a new idea. They needed to make a game. The deer grabbed the lily pad and started placing many of them in a pile. Bird bent down from the tree. What are you doing? I'm creating something that could change the dullness of the gloom filled world. Something that could bring light to these woods. After the deer had finished, standing before all the animals was a contraption like no other. It was a pond covered with giant lily pads forming a path to the other side. The animals hurried to it and started jumping across. When they made it to the other side, they grabbed one of the rocks and came back. This is amazing. Why have we never tried this before? The deer stood there watching them all play. It made them, him happy seeing the animals get the rock back to the beginning, which triggered their victory scream. He walked away and got the food for everyone, then fell asleep. In the middle of the night, he awoke to screaming. He, he quickly ran to the lake just to see all the same people still playing the same game. What is happening here? Mr. Raccoon here wanted to see who could finish the course and do the loudest victory screen. Sorry. The deer went to sleep again and woke up the, to the, uh, woke up the next morning. He walked off to the great berry bush. Nobody was there. The deer looked surprised and kept eating. He walked to his home to look for his children and wife. All the rooms were empty. He looked and searched, but nobody was in town. The deer walked over to the pond and, and found three new rows of lily pads and all the animals hanging out. Nobody was getting food except for the deer. Everyone was having a good time chatting while the baby rabbit was trying to complete the course. The rabbit stumbled on one of, on one of the lily pads and fell into the pond. Nobody realized except for the deer. Help, help! The deer leapt into the pond and rescued rabbit. That was a close one, little guy. Be careful next time when you try to complete the course. And where is your mom? The rabbit pointed at his mom who was mindlessly chatting with the other animals. Another day had passed and the same problem was afoot. Nobody was doing anything to help their forest. The deer noticed the leaves drying up, causing them to decay. He ran to the pond to get some water, but he was stopped by the moose. Where do you think you're going? You should know this area is too busy for when you're on. Get in the back of the line. The deer spotted his son playing in the pond with the other young animals. Just looking at him made the deer sad, for he had not seen him in about two days. That's it. Everybody, can't you see this is enough? You've never cared about getting food. If it weren't for me, you would have probably starved by now. This needs to be sorted out. There are going to be only three days a week where you can go hang out by the pond and play. The other four are for working and gathering food. Got it? Uh, like, okay, man, but like, why? Because of this. The deer grabbed the giant leaf and pulled it out of the way, exposing a patch of brown leaves and flies surrounding the area. The, the grass wasn't growing and it needed to be watered. The brown brownery of the area represented all the dead that stayed in the usual green. The animals understood and got back to the world. The moral of the story is to be comfortable for what you have. Getting too much might spoil it all. Much better.